Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes from the first to the second. Um, this is for whoever it resonates with, and we're just going to go with that. So I'm using the Vice Versa deck. I already cut the deck, as I always do, and I've cut it to the Three of Pentacles. It looks like somebody is in, being watched, for one thing. Somebody is being watched. Um... The person that is being watched is learning new things and uh, working hard to to prove themselves, and it is being noticed. So somebody is being noticed for for what they have to offer. Okay, so um, just be aware that whatever you're doing is not is not going unseen. Uh, somebody sees it. Somebody sees it, and it looks like they admire it. They admire it because they're not intervening you know they they like what they see they do like what they see so keep that in mind oh now I had already cut it but I had decided to cut it again now we've cut it to the five of swords um, somebody's walking away somebody is walking away from what no longer serves them um, no no longer gonna fight no longer going to battle um, yeah, it's been painful, but I don't need any more. I don't need any more. I'm headed in a different direction. So somebody is headed out. Okay, somebody is headed out. And we're going to start with this card right here. Headed out of their negative thinking. Headed out of their mental prison. It's like, I don't need to be there anymore. They're thinking more positively. Somebody is, is starting to think more positively about their future. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards. Walking away from conflict. And some the other person is just letting them go. It's like, just go ahead, fine, go. Because they think that they're going to come back. But I think this person has made a, a solid decision to, to just keep going. I'm not going to look back. Ooh, two fives right off the bat. Yeah, somebody's being left out. Somebody's being left out in the cold. Somebody is, uh, maybe somebody's having regrets for letting somebody go. They may be because it looks like this one has regrets. But this one probably left some time ago. Hmm. Or they've been thinking about it. Overwhelmed. Somebody is overwhelmed. This person that is is overwhelmed is is receiving guidance. Okay, looks like they're they're inside the church. Okay, whoever they are, they're inside. Looks like they're inside the church and. They have the ability. They have the ability to go down a new path they just haven't taken it yet but this one already has went down somebody has already left so i think that somebody may have regrets for letting somebody leave and they may have sought some guidance uh -huh. interesting Mmm. Wonderful. We're just going to go ahead and get the cards. There's somebody that is going to take action, okay? Somebody is going to take action after, after isolating themselves. This person did. This person isolated themselves. They probably, you know, went in a different direction. It looks like now they're going to communicate. Now they looks like they feel bad for what they did. They've sought some guidance, whether they've sought it from a person or God or whoever. They've re they they have regrets. Somebody has regrets, and they've been enlightened. And they see now the light is in this guy's hand. See here it is down here. It's on the floor. 
and now it's in his hand. Okay, so it looks like somebody is going down, going to head down that new path that they... It looks like they regretfully walked away from. You know, this person walked away from somebody and now they want to go back. Now I've stopped shuffling on the Queen of Pentacles. Reversed. Mm. Somebody has definitely gone through some sort of awakening. They have. With the hermit and the high priestess with both their back turned. Somebody has gone through some sort of spiritual awakening. And it looks like they they may be asking for approval. They may be asking to for, you know, another shot, another chance. I mean, that's what it looks like. It looks like somebody is gonna ask for another chance. Can we can we start fresh? Can we start fresh? Can we start from zero? Can we start over? I think there's definitely been some power struggles. There's been some fights. There's been some arguing. And they've caused somebody to retreat. It's caused somebody to retreat and shut down. It's really caused a shutdown. But it looks like whoever this person is doesn't really want to move on without you. They don't really want to move on without you. And, you know... They they want you to they want you to be with them you know they want to, they want that's what I see here they want you to be with them they want to do whatever it takes to bring balance and harmony back to this situation so I think that somebody I don't know who this is for it's not going to resonate with every single person but somebody is going to receive communication from somebody that has probably taken a break or closed themselves off you know, to go within and to figure out where they want to go. You know, this person, you know, made some mistakes, obviously. This person made some mistakes, you know, uh, and now they, they regret it and they want another chance. So I feel like we have a man or somebody, we, uh, you know, wanting, wanting to uh, come back. And, and you know how I feel about this card. This woman's like... I don't think so. I don't think so. Why? Why? Why would I let you back in? Why would I let you back in when you left me high and dry? You know, and he's trying to explain that he regrets it. He's trying to explain that he regrets uh, not being there. But she's just like, no. Nope. I'm all set. I'm all set. I've been living here by myself. I've been taking care of myself. Um... I'm good. I'm good. I, I don't need you. I, that's what she, she's like. I don't need you. I mean, that's what she is. She's, I mean, she's, she's, she's been taking care of business on her own. And now we have this, this man who, or this person that is, you know, he's been wounded in some kind of battle of his own fighting some, some, some sort of war. And now he, now he, he shows up with some sort of new opportunity i mean he he wants a new fresh start he does this is the ace of wands in his hands it is he wants a fresh start but she's it looks like she's already moved on this is the eight so I, yeah i feel like she's she's good she's good and now this this person um sees the light sees the light about where their abundance used to be you know, and now they, they want some sort of approval. They want a, they want some sort of, they want their abundance back. But I feel like this person, whoever they're dealing with, could be, could be anybody. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Virgo here. We have Aries here. This could be a Taurus as well. Could also be a Pisces. Um, could be anybody. Could be anybody here. Somebody is wanting a fresh start. They are absolutely wanting to to try again, okay? They're wanting to make something work that they regret losing. 
So I think there's going to be some communication come in that from somebody that has gone through some sort of uh, repression, but this a repress, repression that they have gone through has has woken them up it has it has really given them the clarity to see things more clearly um and this person doesn't want to move on they don't want to move on without without the person that they love so um yeah i feel like it's too late because i feel like the person that that they left has already accomplished you know they, they already accomplished um a very comfortable space for themselves you know I'm very comfortable where I'm at I'm, I'm comfortable you know I've had I've had I've had many people come and help me while I'm here Pe many people have come and gone you know and I've survived and I don't I don't really need you to come in here and take over so I feel like we have somebody that is not wanting to invest in a partnership with this person that left them high and dry you know he left me high and dry while you were fighting your battle I was becoming enlightened so both people were becoming enlightened both people were uh, becoming wiser Okay, because this is wisdom here. Both pre both people have changed. Both people have changed. So, you know, I don't feel like this is going to turn into a loving relationship. I mean, we don't have any cups here. None. It's really, it's really not about love. I think this whoever this person is is looking to have their stability back. I mean, because this is what this is. This is about stability. This is about security. I want my security back. I want my stability back. I want my home. I want to come home because this is home. The Ten of Pentacles is home. Somebody wants to come home. They want to be They want to be taken care of. She's the nurturer, the Queen of Pentacles. They, they miss that. They miss the nurturing aspect of the relationship. And perhaps that's why they want to come back, whoever this is. Um... I think that we have we have somebody here that is no longer interested. You know, I'm 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 awake. Uh, I've moved on. I have, and I don't I don't want to be a part of this anymore. So I feel like there's a starting over in on a new path without this person that. left you and without hurt you uh fought with you you know it's like no i don't want this i mean the very first card no i don't want this i don't i don't i mean i don't yeah this guy and he's like he's like trying to talk he's talking and he's not even listening it's like no i don't even want to hear it i don't want to hear it so i think there is some communication there is some talking going on there's some communication going through you know and it's just like no Nope. Nope. I've already come up with plan B. You know, I've already come up with plan B. I've already changed my life. So I, I just feel like somebody wants a fresh new start and I think it's going to be turned down. I do. I think it's going to be turned down. Um... It's a completion. It's the actual completion and the closure. Somebody is receiving the closure that is going to allow them to complete this cycle and start fresh. Start on a brand new journey without the past. This is closure of the past. It is. And like I said, whether whether it's you receiving closure from above or actual words from this person that broke you there is you know there's there's some sort of uh understanding here i get it 
he gets it. He's, he's, he knows. I mean, if you look at he says he, he knows. He has regrets, but it's, it's, there's nothing you can do about it. It's too late. It's too late. It's, it's too late because I think this other person has already moved on to completion. I think that we have completion and closure here. That is allowing somebody to start fresh on a new path. Towards, towards something more successful. This person, whoever it is, has gained the one that has suffered. They both have suffered. Both people have suffered here. Um, they both have gained a lot of wisdom. They both have gone through some sort of um, spiritual awakening. But I see that one of these people... Where both of these people are headed in different directions. I mean, they're headed away from each other. It is. I mean, they're definitely, they're definitely headed in different directions. Okay, we got people headed in different directions. It's like no. So we, I think we have a final split. We have a, we have a, we have a real split here. It's like it's over. Closure and completion of at what was, what was. You know, I think that. Somebody may come in with communication that they want another chance and they don't even know what they're saying. They don't know what they're thinking. I mean, they don't even know. They don't even... Because this is hidden agendas here. This is this is hidden agendas. And then we got money. So I think this person just wants their stability back. They want their security back. It's not for love. It's not. There's no love in these cards. But I think that the other person on the receiving end sees it absolutely clearly. I mean, I don't think this person has, the person that comes in communicating or whatever, has bad intentions. I don't, I don't, I don't think that they're, they're coming in, you know, to, to hurt. I don't see that like they're coming in to hurt another person. It's like, I want my stability back. They're thinking in, in the form of stability, security, home life. You know, I just, I want that back. I want that tag. You know, I want that. I want that home life. I want my fa I want a family. I want the comfort. I want I want that all back. And they they think about what they had and they make this communication, but it's not about love. You know. And they may they may feel like you know because they love, but I don't see any love in these cards. I think they they they're thinking back on stability and security and how good it was, you know. But I think it's, I do, I think it's, I think it's too late. I think there was too much conflict. There was too many, too many power struggles. And somebody is wise enough to know better. I'm wise enough to know better. So we have, we definitely have somebody that is finding the strength to turn their back. Okay. Somebody is going to turn their back on this person. Be, and there we go again. Because I look at all the backs. Definitely. So somebody is going to turn their back on this. Whole situation. Because, I mean, it's just not, it's not emotionally fulfilling. It's never going to be. There's no confidence in it. The person that they're dealing with has a really big ego and... We have somebody here that has already dealt with their pain. There's no doubt. Somebody has already dealt with their pain. And they're going to find the strength to reject an offer that isn't no longer emotionally fulfilling. So there's not. It's not. It's like, no, this isn't love and I don't have any more love to offer you. So I see a rejection here. I do. I do. I see a rejection here. We have the we have somebody that is finding the strength and the courage and the confidence to live in the now and not the past. And the past, it looks like or somebody that doesn't suit them well is trying to, you know, move in. It's like, "No, I want to move in. I want I want you to take care of me." It's like, "No. No. No, you're not moving in." Hell no, you're not moving in. You know, somebody wants to uh, 
be taken care of by the looks of things, but that's it. There's absolutely no love in these cards. So I think whoever this person is that is communicating has hidden agendas and it's based on will you take care of me because I can't I can't take care of myself. So yeah, I feel like I see, I see uh, an absolute no here coming from somebody that is wise enough to know that this isn't this isn't practical. It's not practical. It's not wise. It's not um, realistic. And I and the other person, I think this other person is re regrets not taking action sooner. They regret it. They regret not taking action sooner, but they were they were dealing with some ego. They regret, you know, dealing their ego. I mean, this is what this is. Their ego. I mean, look see what he's looking at now. He's looking at that devil. He re this person regrets the mistakes that they made. But it's too late because now they're trying to face this person that has found the strength to move on and it's too late. It's too late. So we have we have somebody here that is making a wise decision to let go of the past and head in a new direction. They have woken up and it's not happening. I see a fresh new start here. I see a fresh new start here without this baggage, without it, okay? So somebody is letting somebody go because it's starting at zero without bringing it. I'm not bringing you with me into the next year. I'm not. I'm not. That's what this is. So whether you, this is closure and completion. I'm shutting myself off emotionally to this struggle, to this unrealistic situation that's what's happening somebody is withdrawing I withdraw I withdraw I don't I don't I don't care what you have to offer I don't care how strong you are I don't care what you've been through I got plenty of help and from other directions thank you very much so I feel like today is a day of completely withdrawing from Somebody that left you out in the cold, closing that door, and heading in a new direction. Starting at zero. So yeah, it's January 1st. I am starting at zero. Fresh start here. We're going to get one of these. This person, one of the reasons this person is communicating is because they're lonely. There's loneliness. There's still no love in those cards. And the other person knows it. They know it. So there's going to be a rejection here. No, I'm starting, I'm starting my new year in a completely different direction. Thank you very much. Shut down. Shut down. Don't even want to communicate. Answering the call. The time is now. You've been called. The sacred journey always starts with a call. You might feel ready, or you might be uncertain and not willing. But when you receive the call, you must respond. You may receive a call from this. I said communication. Could be a call, could be a text message, could be whatever. Let's start over. You've been called. The sacred journey always starts with a call. You might feel ready, or you might be uncertain and not willing. But when you receive the call, you must respond. If you've been waiting for your life to turn out, the waiting is over. Your true and authentic life is happening. 
If you've been hoping for a sign, this is it. Right now, you've been called and a gateway is opening for communications from the spirit realms. And like I said, somebody's been providing guidance, whether it's God or whatever. The energy of courage surrounds you. And here we got courage. You may not know what the future brings, but you do know that it's now time to act and go forward. <laughs> we already talked about this, didn't we? It's true. Spirit is trying to get your attention. Right now, your spirit helpers are telling you that this is your time. Listen with your heart. Your time is now. Do it now. Throw your shoulders back. Take a deep breath and plunge forward. Plunge forward. Just go. Just go. The waiting is over. No matter what concerns or hesitations you may have, in the deepest sense, you are ready. Believe, trust, follow the signs. There will be many. And miracles will abound. It's time to, to go in a new direction. Without the past. Somebody is finding the strength and the courage to turn their back on a troublesome, unrealistic situation. I'm closing this door. It's over. Stay tuned. I'm going to do another single segment. Good luck.